Welcome back. All right, so now we have our log sitting here in our workspace that we can pick up and it disappears and comes back using our log script here. So we make it disappear and come back. We turned off the can collide so that um, we don't have to worry about that. But now we need to have a think about, well, in a game, we need to keep track of uh, how many logs the player has picked up. And one of the rules of our game was that um, the player can only carry one log at a time. So we want to stop the player picking up multiple logs. So to do that, we'll come into our main script, which if it's not open for you, service script service, and just double click on it to open it. We're going to add in some variables in here. Now at the moment, this is the leader stats folder. I'm going to put a, a comment here so that we know that uh, this is leader stats folder. Okay, and I'll put some dashes across here so we can clearly see that this is the beginning of the leader stats. And these are anything you put uh, into the leader stats folder will be displayed on the screen. So uh, these are things that you want uh, the players to see um, you keeping track of. However, there are variables like um, whether the player has a log, which is a boolean, it's either true or false, um, that we don't want everybody to see. Um, it's just for the player's benefit. And for that reason, we're going to create a new folder. So if we drop down a couple of lines here, and it's going to be called player vars folder okay this is where we uh, it's like a hidden folder where we can keep track of certain things and but the player doesn't need to know what they are all right so it's exactly the same process turn off the caps lock local and this one will be called player vars okay equals instance dot new it is going to be a folder right. under here play, oh, we don't need the local my apologies player vars dot name okay and we will make this capital player vars okay uh, it doesn't really matter you can you can call this whatever you like in here I tend to like to use capitals in these um, in folders etc so uh, it just makes sense to me and uh, it keeps it consistent okay and now player vars dot parent equals okay and it's also going to be the player so now this is like a hidden folder where we can put things in. And the first thing that we're going to add to our player vars folder is we want to know whether the player is carrying a log or has a log. So we'll create a new variable, okay? And we can call it uh, player has log instance new and we are creating an instance this time of a boolean variable or a boolean value which is true or false so we'll give it a name that we refer to in our code so player has log dot name all right and in this case we can just say has log because each one will not will each player will have this um, assigned to them now we need to add a new uh, thing in here. So if we put in player has log dot value, all right? So we have a starting value because it true or false, uh, we don't want it to be uh, nothing. So when they start the game, obviously they're not going to have a log. So we will leave that as false, all right? And I'll show you how they, where these show up um, very shortly. Now. Something we may want to uh, have um, shown to the player is how many logs they have collected. So let's, under the leader stats folder now, create a uh, player log count. 
Right, and they, I'm making these up, these names, so you can make it however you like, but uh, it's probably good to follow along with me. Uh, apply a log count, so we want an instance dot new, and if we're just counting something, then um, we we just want an integer value, so just a number. All right, so integer, so int value is what we want. It will be a number, and apply a log count dot name okay will equal and we will call it log count all right you could put a space in there because this is going to be displayed on the screen if you wish all right uh, but you need to remember you put the space in there if you use it I tend to use a camel case like this and um, well, we could just call it logs if you want um, mm, log log count is good right and apply out log count dot value well they won't have any so it will be zero to start off with so now we've introduced two values one of them will be displayed on the screen and oh I'm sorry one last thing we need to do uh, here is parent this so play out log count dot parent All right equals now the value itself is being stored into the leader stats folder so that will be its parent all right and same down here we didn't uh, parent this one so player has log dot parent equals and in this case it's the player vars folder yeah this is a little bit confusing um, because we're working in this script, we refer to this variable. From other scripts, we're looking for this variable. Okay, so that's the difference. Now that we've added these, let's save it and test our game. And we should now see on the screen that our player has a log count. So here is my name here, log count with zero. Now to check our other items if we click over here on players in explorer here's my character underneath we have a player vars folder and if we expand that here is our value in here has log the value is unchecked which means it's false it's boolean so we've created that from code and put it in here leader stats we have log count it's an int value and there it is there okay so at the moment, nothing happens when we run over this, but we have set up the values. So in the next video, we'll look at how to increase those values and uh, reset when uh, the player has a, a log and when they don't have a log. So I'll see you in the next video.